with the ever-changing dynamics of the education sector. Thank you all for being part of this event. And thank you, IFA Tech, especially Sir Mark and Sir Jerry, for your unrelentless drive and motivation to help serve the IT community in the region. As a parting word to inspire, let me share this quotation with all of you. Learning never exhausts our mind, so never get tired of learning for our students and for ourselves. Thank you po at magandang hapon po. Have fun learning. Okay, thank you so much, Sir President. And the staging of this week-long webinar would not be possible if it was not uh, with the strong partnership of the Site Central Luzon with the IT Tech Incorporated and its CEO, Mr. Mark Enriquez. So, in behalf of the entire Proside Central Luzon, our huge thanks to Mr. Enriquez of IT Tech for this fruitful partnership and collaboration. So we really hope that this will forge more years of partnership with you, sir. And now, I am sure everyone is eager and excited to learn new things with the topic career and business growth in the world of IT. Uh, allow me to introduce to everyone our speaker for today's webinar. Okay. Um, our speaker joins the team from Freelancer Pinoy, where he was the Managing Director of Business Development for Philippines. His key role was to provide world-class services to partners in multiple locations. The company has shared service to provide professional level of support across region, such as architect, engineering, IT, accounting, healthcare, sales and marketing development. He has built his career in a variety of roles and multinational industries. Before leaving FedEx, he authored his post-sales business process flow of the giant global companies he supported, such as Analog Devices, Sun Power Incorporated, Sanyo Denki, Philippines, Texas Instrument, and many others. Mark's career in the IT and digital marketing industry started in 2008 with SoftTech Park, the marketing team of Ubuntu. Become the first to lead the different teams around the globe, including India, Pakistan, China, US, and Philippines. As such, he was responsible for the general marketing profitability, growth, and expansion of the company, which promotes web development, web design, and SEO expertise. In his 11 years of career excellence, he also successful work as Editor-in-Chief of Totalpreneur and World Love Week magazine for Thailand and U.S. and as Strategic Manager at Red Letter Marketing. He gained prestigious certification from FedEx such as Master of Black Belt Six Sigma and a Certified Project Manager through the Project Management Institute. Mark is the current CEO and President of IP Tech the International Philippine Technologies, which is an IT and digital marketing corporation, Chaperones, an LLC, e-commerce, and SAA's companies in Colorado, U.S. He also leads a small community of freelancers and virtual assistants that is recently gaining traction in different social media platforms. He has played key roles specific into bridging the law in Asian and American overseas sales operations and marketing to Philippine professionals. So Mark has mastered driving net promoters course for several consumers, businesses on various verticals by being an individual contributor and being a servant lead of extremely large teams to mention his experience in handling multinational corporation. So this is it, the speaker for today, the IT marketing expert, the CEO of IFITEC, Mr. Mark Enriquez. Hello, Sir Mark. Hello, everyone. 
Nakasalamat for the introduction, Ma'am uh, Relida and uh, Sir George. Hello po and Sir Bernan. Maraming salamat po, po for the invitation again. Uh, yeah, may I share my screen now? Uh, All right. Okay, sir. All right. So, the topic po natin for this afternoon is career and business growth in the uh, in the world of IT. Ano nga ba yung pupuntahan ng IT world no ng mga IT graduates natin kung hindi man tayo mismo mga educators, where are we going kung kung hindi man tayo makapagtrabaho sa isang IT company, ano ba yung mga uh, karamihan na pinupuntahan ng, ng mga nasa bahay, lalo na ngayon, lockdown, no? Hindi makapag-apply uh, sa mga companies, hindi sila makapag-walk in. Minsan, na, nagsasubmit ka nga ng resume online, uh, pero hindi ka naman tinatanggap, hindi ka tinatawagan. Mas maganda, minsan ko papatawag ka for, for a walk-in application. In here, with IT Tech, we concentrate in web development, in software creation. We did a lot of apps before. We also do uh, graphics and design through uh, Photoshop and Illustrator. We did uh, SEO and, digital, and all those digital marketing and social media platforms. But our concentration is really in web development and software creation. We've been in the industry for eight years. And as a corporation, we've been doing this for three years now. Um, and I think dito sa, sa, sa business na to, dahil karamihan ng mga clients namin are, uh, sabihin natin, like 80% of our clients are from the US and 20% are from other countries. Uh, we have clients, naging clients dito sa Philippines, like yung PRI uh, Hospital uh, and also some, some, some other uh, local businesses. Now, um, we have the introduction to modern information technology. Ayun nga yung sinabi ko na hina. Ano ba si information technology? Sigurado alam na alam nyo na yung mga educators. Tayo, tayo yung mga educators. Uh, alam nyo yung minsan natatrack nyo yung mga nag-graduates. No? Alam nyo kung saan sila pumupunta, kung nakapagtrabaho ba talaga sila sa, uh, as, as being IT professional. And maraming sangay si IT professional. When um, I have applicants here na IT grad sila, pero they are now concentrating in, in social media. Meron silang yung iba, digital marketing. Dahil uh, siguro, uh, sometimes or most of the time, yung mga web developers, yung mga clients sa ibang bansa, they require even yung mga SEO specialists na at least alam mag-develop ng websites or at least the basics of uh, creating websites like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, it makes our lives easier, faster, better, and more fun, of course. Um, later on, I'll show you some videos that uh, um, mag mag represent kung ano yung uh, kung nasa na tayo sa, um, sa IT era. Okay, mga samples, samples of, of machines na currently uh, mapapawaw ka kasi hindi mo alam na before pinapangarap mo lang yung technology ngayon, ngayon, totoo na siya. Okay, so when it comes to the way we communicate overall, modern technology has had a powerful influence. Napakatotoo niyan. Right now, kung ano-ano na lang yung communication platform natin, ang dami. We have Viber, WhatsApp, Facebook. Kami, in our company, we're using Facebook Workplace. Facebook Workplace is a project management tool created by Facebook. Uh, Kasi karamihan ng mga tao, alam nila ang Facebook is just for social media, no? Hindi nila alam, meron pong mga ibang sangay-sangay si Facebook, like Workplace, wherein it has helped us for, for many years. etong Facebook Workplace na to, uh, uh, mabilis namin natutrack dito yung communication and even yung mga projects, yung mga tasks. Pero we also use other platforms such as ClickUp or Monday.com. We also have Discord. Yan. So, the power of information technology uh, definitely, sabi ko nga kanina, sa lahat ng, ng aspeto ng buhay natin, there is information technology. Uh, impact of information technology into the, into the world, political impact of uh, IT, syempre, hindi, hindi, hindi ma, uh, malalayo sa atin na malaki yung influence ng social media. Kaya ngayon, even sa politics, no, uh, 
talagang labanan ng mga nasa Facebook, mga nasa Twitter, mga sa YouTube. And syempre, ito, mga media to, uh, it affects us really. And uh, information technology is not just there. Uh, meron tayong mga experts dito, even us, uh, we require some some developer na meron idea sa table and networking. Ayan. Uh, Napaka-importante nun. Uh, <clears throat> And also, uh, may, mga, may mga graduates tayo na hindi sila talaga uh, in the IT information technology, but their courses are related to such as yung computer engineering and computer science who are uh, transferring into the course of information technology as a general uh, practice. No? Um, marami tayong nag-aaral kung paano gumawa ng mga machines. Okay? And how we can make better and uh, how we can make a difference Uh, dapat yung mga machines na yun, lagi namin ina-advise. For example, yung mga clients kami na makapagawa ng application website or application to mobile use, uh, ang ina-advise namin, there should be a value first. Ano ba yung value na nagbibigay nito sa mga tao? Or else, kung walang value nyo, hindi siya tatanggapin, hindi siya tatangkilikin. No? Uh, ito nga may impact of IT. Siyempre, marami tayong, uh, sa nga, sinabi ko nga kanina, maraming sa inyo ang, ang, ang IT. Meron tayo uh, sa cloud, social media, data. Uh, ngayon, yung pumusubot na NFT, yung mga non-fungible uh, non -fungible, uh, games, yung mga, tawag dito, NFT games, yung mga play-to-earn games na tinatawag nila, such as yung Axie. That's made possible by Uh, technology. Uh, meron tayong mga experts ng Python, kung hindi man mga uh, nag Ruby and Rails, na uh, malaki yung kinikita nila. I'll give you a highlight, no? A Python developer that we, uh, we are targeting for a client face, one developer for 180,000 each. No? Kasi lang Python is not our expertise. 180,000 to 300,000 a month. Okay, uh, and we get those, we get those clients through different job platforms then. So, hindi na sa job platforms, we get them through technology pa rin, no? Uh, mga job platforms na yun, talaga mga high-end technology sila. Like Upwork, we have uh, Indeed Jobs, we have LinkedIn, we have social media. And um, I think yung mga, uh, yung mga web developers, mga software developers, and mga IT experts natin, Um, <clears throat> they're not just really uh, getting clients, no? They're not just really after getting clients. They want yung long-term position. Yung mga clients na kinukuha namin, they want stability, of course, with uh, with the, with their developers, yung mga offshore. And siguro naman, with uh, with 50,000 to 100,000 plus na, na, na salary, um, it's enough for us to, to live... Um, Siguro man kung depende sa pangangailangan din, no? uh, sometimes may mga clients na they do low ball. Uh, pero again, uh, ang, ang tulong ng IT sa, sa, sa Philippines, especially doon sa uh, mga kabataan ngayon, I think it's, it's sobrang malaki. Not, not just kabataan, no? like everyone. I know someone who is like 45 years old playing Axie as a scholar. And I think um, when you know about Axie, when you know about, when you learn about uh, yung mga De DeFi pet, you talk about uh, technology, you talk about the emerging and the new uh, trends in cryptocurrency because you have to learn what's, what's SLP, you, you, you have to learn what's AX, uh, the AXS. So yun, uh, dito sa IP Tech, we're planning to, to create a department that's focus on analyzing the cryptocurrency. And we're hiring accounting uh, technology grads and account, uh, accounting so that we can track um, paano kami makakapag-tap doon sa area na yun. And some of our employees, we're letting them play. <clears throat> Even after work, we let them play. With, with our company kasi, we offer free accommodation uh, and free food. So after their work, they can, they can play. Uh, kung gusto nila mag-continue ng work, they can still play, they can monitor their their games. So, ayun lang. I think, uh, ayun yung uh, uh, timely example that I can give for the economic impact of IT. Uh, and of course, pandemic ngayon, maraming naka-home-based, 
maraming kumikita sa bahay lang, no? Uh, social impact of IT. Ayun, kanina na discuss ko na to. Um marami uh, positive and of course positive and negative lahat naman ng factors na to may positive and negative impact. Uh, hindi lang sa mga bata hanggang sa pagtanda may mga matatanda ngayon na talagang naka-Facebook lang, naka-social media lang, no? And even uh, <coughs> sa TikTok. Ang maganda naman meron tayo sa mga social media platforms na to na tumutulong to uh, na tumutulong sa mga tao to learn things, no? Uh, meron tayong mga education PH wherein yung iba nagtuturo ng English sa TikTok, uh, yung iba nagtuturo ng, uh, let's say, uh, psychology, yung mga ganyan, and how to do investments. You know, a lot of these, uh, of, of these social media platforms and technology that we use nowadays, they have positive and negative impact. But, of course, um, I cannot tell if, if the positive outweighs the negative ones because for us, we're working in the IT, so I would be biased to say that uh, we, we get a lot of, of positive things out of these technologies. So, <clears throat> how it changed the world. Um, second. Of course, technology has changed how we um, converse, how we talk with, with other people. Right now, uh, you, you can see people from, from around, I mean, all social media places, no? Uh, meron nga yung isa, uh, kakasikat niya lang, um, tawag dito, yung, she, she curses, no? Uh, yung kakasikat lang na si Madam, uh, Madam Inuts, no? Kakasikat niya lang sa TikTok. Pero, um, naging way to para makommunicate niya na she needs money, no? May mga, mga nag-online selling, okay? Nung una, uh, nung mga first uh, months of online selling, especially last year, kasi yung mga online sellers na yun, halos dumami lang naman talaga yan, especially nung last year, nung first lockdown. Um, naging way niya yun to communicate uh, kung ano yung pangangailangan niya, no? Uh, kailangan niya kasi buhayin yung Yung, yung mother niya, that's why she's doing online uh, selling and she has a different way of presenting herself to people, no? So, she did that through Facebook pero kumakalat din yung kumakalat din yung, yung videos niya sa different social media platforms. And of course, uh, with, commu uh, with, with our communication nowadays, sabi ko nga kanina, meron tayong WhatsApp, we have, tic, uh, we have uh, WhatsApp, Viber, uh, meron kaming... Uh, <clears throat> platform before yung pwede kang tumawag sa US yung Google Meet just change your location if it's not Google Meet the other uh, the other Google that we used before you just change your location and you can call US for free uh, to those who, who wants to communicate with their relatives outside uh, or siguro dun sa mga nasa US pwede yung palitan yung location dito sa Google Meet and you can try to call and dial the number of yung mismong phone number ha uh, you can call them sa US. Pero sometimes, no, uh, ginagamit natin yun. Pero kung, uh, kung meron naman Skype, why not? Dito, uh, like 80% of our time with, with the clients, yung mga meeting namin, we use Skype. Uh, meron din tayong communication tool na ginagamit per client, yung Slack. Uh, Slack is, uh, has a video call. Meron din siyang communication call. Um, meron din siyang yung mga pwede ka rin mag-store ng, ng folders ng mga data stone. So, um, technology has changed how we pay bills. Definitely, no? Marami tayong ginagamit. In our company, we do, uh, we use PayPal. We also use uh, TransferWise. Uh, in the Philippine setting, we have a lot, no? Uh, meron tayong Gcash, meron tayong Bitcoin, uh, ayan, or coins.ph, Ayan, maraming marami. And uh, meron na rin tayong mga online banking. No? Uh, yung mga online banking natin nowadays, sobra na silang sikat. You, you do not need to have uh, yung very strict uh, requirements sa mga banko. You just need to open and download the app. You just have to take your picture and one ID and that's it. Uh, and you, you'll have your online banking. Uh, last week or I think, yeah, last week, nalaman ko na with GCash Pay pala, you can you can have your own credit no they can lend you uh, they can they, they can let you borrow money at least 
hanggang 30,000 pesos. When I went to GCash, meron pala doon, uh, parang uh, it calculates your credibility, your credit uh, credit ab uh, ability. No? Tapos may option doon na papahiramin ka niya ng 10,000 or 30,000. And scan mo lang yung mga scan mo lang yung mga codes, yung mga QR codes sa mga stores, you can use that. Uh, let's say for example, ang binigay sa iyo ng ng GCash is 20,000 pesos. Tapos yung mga stores sa SM, uh, minsan may makikita ka GCash payment tapos nandoon yung QR code. You can you can pay through it, no? Uh, Ang galing, ang galing ng, ng, uh, ng payment gateways natin ngayon, yung mga payment platforms natin. And definitely, ho hopefully, no, mas maging mabilis. Kasi I think sa, sa China, um, they use na yung WeChat uh, to pay for uh, for a lot of things, just like Gcash. Do. Uh, pero ngayon kasi yung WeChat dito sa Philippines, pag nagbukas kayo ng WeChat ngayon, hindi na siya basta-basta magagamit or hindi mo na siya basta-basta mabuksan. Hindi katulad ng mga apps like uh, Facebook or Instagram, you can just sign up and ayun na. Ngayon, ang, ang WeChat, you need to have a verified uh, person who has the same app na, na, na nasa China siguro or kailangan mo talagang mas, mas mahigpit yung ano nila. Sabihin na natin, mas, ma, ma, mas, ma, mas mahigpit yung sign up nila doon sa, sa WeChat ngayon. Uh, that started last year. Um, uh, um, okay, next is um, how we watch TV. Oh, definitely before, kailangan natin ng, uh, ng antena at kutsara or tinidor para maikabit dun sa antena so that we can watch TV. Ngayon ako, you can avail 200 peso Netflix. Meron pa nga sa Facebook eh. They, they, they are giving it away for free, no? yung mga access sa Netflix or HBO Go, uh, marami. Uh, meron tayong mga channels na kailangan ng VPN. Eh. You just need to pay 50 pesos VPN or yung may mga free B VPN nga eh, that you can use so that you can access yung uh, ibang channels sa US. No? Uh, how we date? Oh, how, online, mga online dating, naku, marami yan. Uh, May mga napapanood ako dun sa, sa TikTok wherein yung mga uh, mga nakakapunta sa ibang bansa, no? they met their partners through online dating. Ngayon, madami. We have um, Tinder. Uh, yan. Even actually, kahit mga social, mga simpleng social media, Instagram, and ano, uh, you can use it for as a dating app. Uh, Facebook has its own dating app software within it. No? Uh, yun. And... Uh, Technology has changed how we live in and outside our homes. Oh, definitely. Uh, even the, the use of your of your uh, mobile banking apps, um, it affects us a lot. Uh, ang mobile banking apps nowadays, hindi ka lang pwedeng, hindi ka lang maglalagay ng money, pwede ka nang mag-load. No? Dati, uh, pupunta ka pa sa tindahan, uh, kailangan mo pang kumuha ng barya para makapag-load ka ng 50 pesos or 100 pesos. Ngayon, with your mobile banking apps, we we, we can definitely uh, avail or, or, or buy uh, goods even. Uh, yung mga grab pay, uh, yan. Uh, may mga platforms then or may mga mobile applications then where you can get cashback. Ibig sabihin, mas makakamura ka, babalik pa, may discount ka pang makukuha kasi may babalik sa yung cash eh. Uh, instead na you're going directly through Shopee or Lazada, you just need to download yung shop back. Tapos doon ka mag-order, makikita mo yung mga uh, shops doon ng Lazada and Shopee. So may uh, pag-clinic mo yung Lazada or Shopee gamit yung shop back na app na yun, uh, recognize kagad ng website or ng app na you went through that platform. Tapos makakakuha ka. For example, nag-order ka ng 500 pesos, sometimes you get a cashback of like uh, 100 pesos or 120, may mga ganun. So, yan. Ayan. So, I'll show you this uh, example, itong uh, 4D app. Uh, I saw this one in, in, in Facebook then. <laughs>
Ayun. So that's an example of 4D uh, video that they use for marketing purposes. Uh, maraming ganito sa Singapore and um, in China. This one is in Guangzhou. Uh, Expo. Oops. This one is another uh, app that revolutionizes the farming industry. So let's watch. that the farmers have high living space. There's losses because of pest or a disease or a nutrient deficiency. Let's say you see a sick rod in your field. You can just like easily take an image with Plantex. This image is sent to our servers, analyzed by deep neural networks, and we will tell you on the spot and instantly what is wrong with it. The thing we do is dedicated to the farmers. And so we want to support them to increase the quality and quantity of the year. Our vision for Plantix is to become the worldwide biggest pharma community and to provide pharma knowledge anywhere at any time. Yeah, and so those are samples. We we did the same before meron kaming mga I mean, hindi yung similar uh, platform or hindi yung similar na mobile application. Pero before we have uh, an app, we created an app that trains dogs automatically. Uh, hindi naman automatic. I mean, you just need to play uh, on an iPad or TV. And <clears throat> merong, may mga steps doon on how you can train your pets. No? Such as dog, cats, may mga ganun. And the dogs can watch it and, and, uh, and kakaiba yung app eh. Actually, tapos meron din kami mobile app na we developed dito sa company before, wherein uh, talbito meron siyang um, talbito it automatically <coughs> computes for your a uh, bill for the entire month. Para siyang ano eh, para siyang zero or lasada. Pero you just have to uh, parang picturean mo lang yung picturean mo lang yung resibo mo yung nagastos mo for that day. Then it will automatically convert in an Excel file. Tapos i-compute niya yun kung, paano, kung magkano yung nag-assess mo. Parang meron kang uh, wallet computate. Uh, ang compute ng, ng wallet mo, yung mga nag-assess mo. No? So, ayan. This is another example in BIOS. This one, this, uh, this example is, um, uh, it's just that they developed it na meron kang monitoring app. Uh, yung, tawag dito, yung, gro yung, yung growth ng plants, yung ganyan, meron kang uh, pang monitor. Pero itong uh, technology na to, uh, matagal na. Um, ayan. So, Internet of Things, uh, IOTs, uh, definitely, uh, hindi namin siya concentration dito sa company, pero we have clients sa US, malalaking company, na nagka-concentrate sa IOT, uh, pero we did their websites. Um, ito yung mga uh, examples like uh, technology for, sh for, for shopping, um, 
mga e-commerce sites or Shopify sites. Uh, Shopify, kung hindi man e-commerce, matatawag natin uh, in general, no? Uh, ang, ang mga nag-drop shipping, okay? Uh, most of the time, they go to, to web developers and ask for uh, for their websites to be created through uh, WooCommerce or Shopify. Ayan. Uh, using voice assistants, okay? Uh, marami to. Uh, before, it's very hard to um, to hire persons to do voiceovers. Ngayon, meron na may mga AI na ilagay mo lang yung mismong text, no? Tapos yung AI parang normal na, hindi lang, hindi lang sa robotic uh, sound. Uh, ngayon, mabilis na. Uh, we use this one kasi may mga clients kami na uh, nagpapagawa ng voiceovers ng mga videos. Uh, pero may mga technology din tayo na job platforms wherein ibibigay mo lang yung text sa kanila, you can pay for $5 an hour uh, for a narrator, tapos sila na yung magbabasa ng, uh, yun. And then using technology for food delivery, um, yeah, mga grab, uh, grab, uh, food panda, yan. It makes our lives easier, no? Ang bilis. Uh, hindi ka tulad dati, you have to go to directly sa store pag nagugutom ka pag gabi, walang mabilan, kung, lalo na kung walang tindahan sa inyo. Right now, we have food delivery apps. Um, I, I think I was invited as one of the uh, uh, judges doon sa uh, isang pre-site uh, activity. And merong ganito, merong nag na um, mga graduates ng food delivery. I think that's uh, that's in, in the northern part. Uh, grocery uh, delivery, yeah, and then the meal kit delivery, that's very good. Uh, stay safe. Also, technology has changed how, how we stay safe. Um, well, um, ito, yung mga, mga web cameras, yung mga webcams that we have. Uh, meron tayong mga webcams na yun. Ay, you can connect with your cloud. Um, we have... Uh, Online meeting about guidelines on enrollment for two years. Ayun, sorry po. So we have uh, uh, ayun nga yung webcams that you can monitor through through the app. Uh, I think they're selling this one 250 pesos or 200 pesos per bulb. Where in yung bulb na yun, 360 na siya. Uh, 360, ibig sabihin, it, it covers the 360 background of your house. Uh, pag nilagay mo siya sa sala, kuhang-kuha siya doon. And it has uh, parang voice functionality din. Okay? Uh, download mo lang yung app and uh, dapat nakakonect doon sa, sa phone. And then you can track everywhere kung ano nangyayari doon sa bahay. No? This one is very cool kasi dati pag magpapakabit ka ng CCTV, like around 8 CCTVs, it would cost you like 45,000 to 50,000 pesos. Ngayon, Dahil sa technology, we, it, it, makes us, it makes our life better, it makes our lives easier. Um, and of course, ito nga, sinabi safe. Yeah. Okay, this, is, this video is another example of it. Peace of mind by helping parents protect their babies within the house. It comes with 1080p HD night vision camera so that you can keep an eye on your baby even in the night. It can provide important alerts like covered face and rollover alert, five edition alert, danger zone alert, and so that you can be always aware of your baby's status. Hugo AI can take automatic photos of your baby and send them on your devices so that you can enjoy every moment of your baby even if you are far from home. This device can provide up to 18 hours of playback so that you can monitor your child uninterrupted. Hugo AI is a master monitor for every parent to increase safety of the home to keep their baby safe from harms way within the home. The Cubo AI is going through its crowdfunding campaign on Indigo. Yeah, so that's that's an example of an AI uh, technology. Uh, usually, yung mga AIs natin, yung mga artificial intelligence, they are created through Python. Uh, marami tayo niyan. Um, 
I think may mga free courses din ng Python. Kung hindi man, may mga Python through EDX and uh, MIT and even uh, University of British Columbia. They're offering online courses worth like 80,000 to 100,000 pesos to to get a six months diploma. And kung hindi man diploma, it's, it's a certification for Python. Yeah. An introduction to uh, artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. IT and in the new business trend. Um, Forever. I guess. Ayan. So, uh, shifts in investment. Oh, definitely, um, IT natin ngayon, it's considered as, uh, alam mo yun, pag galing ka sa IT, sabi nga nila, pag galing ka sa IT, uh, company ngayon or ang business mo is in IT, okay? Uh, mabilis daw ang approval sa, sa mga bangko, no? Uh, mas gusto nila yung mga nasa IT field kasi nga uh, pataas yung industry na to. Kung hindi mo pataas, mataas na siya for, many, for, for a lot of years, like running five years now. Sa Manila, if you are a developer, working as a developer or sa, as an IT consultant sa Manila, uh, you can earn like 50,000 until uh, 120,000 pesos uh, as, you know, as a developer. May mga developers akong kakilala sa, sa Manila with, uh, let's say, three, five years experience and they're earning more than even, no? As an IT consultant, uh, they, they get like 150 to 300,000 as a, as a consultant, no? Uh, yung mga consultancy basis na yun on how they can run yung, uh, yung IT nila, yung IT uh, employees nila, IT department nila. So, uh, lalo na in the field of cyber security, medyo mataas. Kami dito sa IT Tech, we did our uh, level 1, 2, and 3 cyber security by the cyber security team of the Philippines. Uh, may, may training kami doon. Tapos yung ibang employees ko, pinag-train ko rin sila sa Manila for cyber security. Uh, kasi, uh, mataas yung value kapag meron kang uh, IT cyber security uh, training. Um, gusto rin sila ng mga clients. I mean, gusto siya talaga ng mga clients. At least alam na, alam ng mga, alam ng company on how we can protect the websites. Before we experience creating a website, taga Canada yung client, pero um, ang nangyari na virus yung yung computer yung na virus yung computer ng isang developer from India kasi meron kaming parang sub sub uh, sub developer doon ang nangyari lah lahat ng websites niya under one hosting naging Japanese character uh, so yung mga kakaibang uh, kakaibang virus na ganun na akala namin na lahat siya ganyan yung pala uh, virus sa laptop so yung mga ganun and uh, Kailangan ng syempre troubleshooting and fault finding, ganyan. Okay, so sa shifts in investment, definitely marami tayong uh, tao ngayon na nag invest Did you know na yung sa, even sa cryptocurrency, yung mga nag-YouTube nag videos doon, sometimes yung mga investment nila are, are in 500,000, 1 million, mga bata pa. They're like mga Pilipino. Uh, sabi natin mga 20 to 30 years old, investing like a million or 2 million sa sa cryptocurrency and yung mga 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 batang nagtuturo sa YouTube it's uh, they, they're really hindi sila takot na ano uh, i-share no uh, anyway um, yeah this one is another example of of a video uh, i mean uh, technology <laughs>
Ayan. So, um, etong puppy, we have this here uh, sa office. Uh, sobrang ganda nito. Anywhere you can go, pag nagpapresent kami sa local clients, we use puppy. And na-amaze uh, sila kasi uh, kahit walang screen, no? you can just get the box and, and turn it on. Tapos kahit nasa anong desk ka, um, i- i- pwede mong itouch screen. Yun. So, ganun siya kaganda. And it's it's also for learning. And yung mga uh, employees namin, minsan ginagamit nila for games. Kapag nabubor na silang mag-work, uh, they can use it for games. So, yan. Uh, uh, digital everywhere. Ayan. Um, I think it's time for us to uh, for um, for the raffle, uh, Ma'am Rolida or Ira. Okay, uh, sir. Yes, po. So break mo na time, sir. I, I'm not sure, po. Uh, anong time po ba? Kasi yun ang lalini ko. Ah, okay, okay. okay so. Yeah, I'll continue and then just just give, just give me a cue, po. Pag uh, okay na yung ano yung raffle. Alright po. Okay. okay po. So, para mas masaya, ang nga pong ito. Okay. So, let's make a raffle. Uh, Hello po. Yan. So, Hello po. For the, for the raffle po, uh, we have five slots for five draws for 100 Gcash load. Gcash pala. Gcash. Okay. So, for the meantime, I will draw uh, three winners. Then, the next two winners is the after the talk of Mr. Mark. Okay, so, we will start the draw. Permission to share. So wait lang po ah. Okay. Okay. Technical lang po ang nag, nag ko sa laptop. Okay, okay ma'am. Kikita na po. Ayan, okay na ma'am. Okay. Visible. So, so, first winner, I will start na po. So, ito po ba sa dun sa nag-register? Mga names ko Apo. nila. So, okay, I'm going to post si Mama Perihina. So, Perihina. Present po ba siya? So, winner ka po. Si Mama Perihina. Comment na lang po sa chat box kung present po siya. So, count tayo ng 12. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Sige, ma'am. Okay, para po. Before... So, pwede po for fit kapag so, hindi available kung wala po dito sa room yung person. So, kung sino yung nagtsaga, siya po ang magkakaroon sa <laughs> Okay po. Okay po. May nag-comment po. I'm sure kung nag-comment from mama. Uh, pwede na po ba natin consider yon Si Ma'am Mafe. Uh, Phil Delmonte po yung present po. Yung present. I-forfeit na po ba? Oh, yes. Pero kung ano, small amount lang naman po ito. Okay po. <laughs> 100 pesos po. <laughs> okay, so I will go another po. 
Panload po. Okay, ma. Remove ko na po ba siya? Uh, na, uh, para po for the chances. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, okay, I'll start po, again. Para po fair. Fair. Si Ma'am okay. Raquel, Raquel De Jesus. Andito po ba? Ma'am Raquel De Jesus, are you in? Uh, pa-comment na rin po din sa sa amin yung contact details po for the Gcash para po ma-send ma po. Okay, so uh, nandito po ba si Ma'am Raquel De Jesus? Doc Raquel, pwede po pa-comment na lang po dito sa chat box then yung Gcash account niyo po. Wala po. Ten, nine, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, two, one. Okay, one. so next. Okay. Next po, remove ko na po okay. siya. Yes po, remove na po siya. Okay, I will choose another po. Wala pa po tayo na pipi. By the way, ang Gcash amount po ay galing sa Ivy Tech Incorporated. So, thank you so much po, Ivy Tech. Thank you. Oh, Ma'am Raquel siya. Adriano. <laughs> si Doc Raquel Adriano. Hi, Doc. Ang ating coordinator sa Bulacan. Doc Raquel. Good afternoon, Doc. Thank you po. Ay, okay po. Present. So, we po. Ay, sasend natin sa number ni Sir ni, ni Doc Raquel. Okay po. So, remove na po natin siya. Next. So, the, for the second winner po. Sir Marlon De La Paz. Marlon De La Paz. Andito po ba Are siya? you there, Sir Marlon? Hello, Sir Marlon. Andito po ba kayo? Pwede pong mag-comment. Comment or mag-present <laughs> by speaker. Huwag <laughs> po kayong mahihayabil yung Gcash amount. Sayang din yan. Sayang po. Oh, oh, load para sa five days. Pamerienda, <laughs> pang copy. Yes. Wala po ba dito? May message po. 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, 4 3, 2, 2, 1. Sayang naman, 1, Sir Marlon. Okay, remove na. Okay, okay. Remove next na for Sir the Marlon. second number. Ma'am Lilibet Antonio po. Okay, Ma'am Lilibet Antonio, are you there po? Wow, present si Ma'am. So, okay. so we have second winner. Gcash winner account po. para po matransfer. Okay, po. Thank you so much, Ma'am Lilibet Antonio. Okay, so for the third po, third winner. So, last muna po natin to for this session. Then next po, okay, po. another two winners. So, third winner po natin. And dito po ba si Ma'am Ronilyn Talad? Okay, Ma'am Ronilyn. Sayang po yung Gcash amount. 10, 9, 9 8, 8, 
seven, eight, six, five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> okay, so we are going to Okay, next. Si Ma'am Joan Andres. 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 Nine, nine, Sir okay. John Marine for test. Nandito po ba siya? Sir John Marine, sayang ang sayang ang pang-load mo. <laughs> <laughs> Nandito po ba? Pa-comment po para ma-identify ko naman ko present po kayo. So wala po at 10. Nine, eight, 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 seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, three, three, two, one. One. Okay, so okay, for so the other. Oh, it's worthy hard. <laughs> Mayor Mayor Sanchez. Sanchez. Andito po ba? Sanchez Mayor, andito po ba kayo? Hello sir. Hello po. Ayun, present. Okay. So, Yay, so winners. Yay. Pa comment na lang po nung Mayor Sanchez. Okay, thank you po. Okay, thank you so, so much. Later Mom na lang po. So later po, meron pa tayo. So, Dalawa po. Okay. So to continue so, po, here again, our speakers, Sir Mark Chan and Riquez. Thank you so much, Sir Mark Chan. Salamat sa po. Sa binigay niyo pong GCash. Okay. Salamat. Um, okay, I'll, I'll reshare. Um, Ayan. So, um, we're done with this. Uh, oops. Yeah, I'll show you another video. This is, uh, kasi ngayon marami ngayon yung mga plantito, plantita, no? Yung mga nagpa-plants, lalo na nagsimula yung pandemic natin. This one is, yes, here, uh, is, a, is also an AI. It tracks yung uh, emotions ng plants, no? I'll, I'll, I'll play the video. Yung actually yung health ng plant, not really the emotions. It shows the emotions, pero yung uh, dito yung health ng plant kung it needs watering or not. Hello, Sir Mark Chan. Uh, wala pa po yung ano, video. Wala pa po sa screen. Alright. Saglit lang po. Okay, Sir. 
So yung opportunities in just with with just this video no uh, marami na uh, yung paggawa pa lang ng mismong machine na to iba na yung developer diyan yung mismong paggawa ng ng pot yung mismong website ng ng company na to iba na yung iba ibang opportunities so sa IT field talaga maraming opportunity even yung paggawa ng social media profiles nila and optimizing their uh, digital marketing platforms uh, iba-iba pa rin, no? So maraming opportunities kang makikita in just one product, no? Hindi lang yung paggawa ng mismong AI to monitor yung health ng plant, pero uh, pati yung mismong technology on, you know, on, in, in creating these pots or uh, automated pots, no? And then, uh, this one is 3D printing. I, I think you you are familiar, well familiar with it. Uh, cyber security is, um, uh, Tavito, has been around for many years. Pero nowadays, ang cyber security kasi hindi naman talaga siya uh, nawawala eh, no? Uh, kailan lang yung isang, I think isang, uh, it was a, uh, uh, Tavito, uh, senator, no? Uh, na nahack yung kanyang ATM. No, through so emails. Si I think that was Senator Gachalian. No, that was just two weeks ago or mga three weeks ago na nahak yung yung ATM niya. So, uh, ang cyber security marami siyang tawo dito maraming sangay to. Kami naka cyber security. Uh, wala pa kami dun sa level ng ethical hacking. Pero I sent some of my employees sa sa Manila to take it. Uh, Sobrang importante kasi yan sa website maintenance. Lalo na yung concentration and porting ng company ko, ng company namin is really in in website creation. Uh, big data, eto karamihan ng mga uh, experts namin. Dito yung mga clients namin na nangangailangan ng data. It's really more of managing databases. No? Uh, may mga uh, ginamit kami before like Microsoft Azure. Uh, yan, yung may mga MySQL background. They use it for uh, the Power uh, BI or yung mga gumagawa ng mga databases. Sobrang importante nito and definitely sinabi nga dito, uh, big data is providing companies the opportunity for an improved key performance indicators. No? Uh, ayun. So let's see. Uh -huh. Okay. So this one, remarkable. This one is another uh, technology na... Lahat ng iti-take notes mo dun sa notebook, matatransfer ka agad siya doon sa app. So let's watch. Yung sa mismong, for example, my phone ka, lahat ng iti-take notes mo, nasa phone na. Uh, I think they're selling this one for uh, 9,000 pesos to 11,000. So let's watch. Have you seen the new generation paper tablet yet? Then take a look at the remarkable two. With Markable 2, you can do a lot of things, like you can take handwritten notes, read, and review important documents. 
You can convert your handwritten notes into text right away and you will also be able to take those notes directly of PDFs. The marker of this tablet has a built-in eraser, which is basically an eraser sensor in its top end. The remarkable tool has been designed 20% cleaner than its previous version and it's currently the world's most responsive digital paper that almost feels like a paper. It has a remarkable battery life that gives it two minutes of backup and single charge. And for charging, it has USB Type-C connectivity, which can also be used for file transfer. Ayan. So yung technology na yun is really good for people na talagang comfortable pala pa sila sa pagsulat sa paper. Uh, unlike dun sa mga regular na tablets or mga regular na uh, sabihin na mga iPad, no? uh, dun ka magsusulat sa mismong iPad. Pero this one, uh, paper light talaga siya. Tapos sobrang nipis at ayun lang yung functionality niya. Yung uh, for notes taking. Ayan. So, yeah, let's move on to the careers under the world of IT. Ayan, karamihan dito, yung mga mababanggit dito sa careers in IT, uh, may expertise kami dito. Meron kami mga clients na, uh, na sinosupport. Um, Tag dito, sa, sa mga clients namin, they have either siguro mga agency. Ayan, may mga agency sila, may mga team sila sa US or ibang bansa. Uh, concentrating in creating websites or may mga clients kami na naggumagawa talaga ng softwares na matagal na. Some, some of our clients have been with us for four years, five years. Meron kaming uh, matatagal, seven years, ganyan. Um, Alright, so uh, existing careers in, in, in the IT field, marami. Uh, sabi ko nga kanina, hindi lang ang IT grad, uh, hindi mo lang expect yan na cable and networking or ano, uh, even yung, uh, tag dito, mga nagpo-photo uh, photo editors, graphics and design, meron kami yan. Uh, and I think uh, sa ngayon, I, I can tell we we have a very good uh, graphic designer na, uh, uh, tag dito, ay, na he's been with us for, for almost three years na rin, no? Uh, an IT grad. Um, all right. So first, uh, first the list ng ng career is uh, business analyst. Uh, may mga business analyst tayo. Dati marami to sa mga BPOs. Okay. Uh, just because they they also do a lot of uh, databases and mga tumutulong to dun sa usually kasi pong mga IT or computer science graduates, they are well familiar with databases and also uh, spreadsheets uh, and analyzation. So marami before to sa business analyst. But this one is not our expertise dito sa company. Uh, we tried. We tried to supply manpower sa mga BPOs. Kaso lang, uh, we noticed na yung um, industry ng BPOs, uh, hindi siya, uh, tawag dito, parang nawawala siya. No? Although marami pa rin sila, parang bumabagsak yung BPO industry. Uh, kaya we stuck tong business analyst na, na, na department. Computer service technician, ito marami to. Uh, Actually, kung, kung titignan nyo, no, hindi lang naman uh, yung pagiging technician. Eh. Marami ngayon talaga nagbibenta ng computers, lalo na dito sa May Angeles. Uh, kumikita sila, not just the computers, yung mga, uh, mga upuan, yung mga gaming chairs, they're, they're really earning a lot. Um, tapos yung mga computer technicians who are also familiar with rigs, lalo na yun sa, kasi yung mga computers na mga ganito, yung mga PCs, uh, ginagamit nila for cryptocurrency then maraming Pilipino yung nagki cryptocurrency that they need this for mining for bitcoin or uh, cryptocurrency mining and they are earning no uh, cyber security specialist eto nga yung sinabi ko kanina malaki yung opportunity dito lalo na kapag meron kang ethical hacking certification but not really sometimes clients uh, basta meron kang idea sa, sa website uh, cyber security and you can present to them how you can protect their websites, they do not need the certification. Eh. Okay? Uh, may mga clients or sabihin natin uh, marami sa mga clients na they are really after what you can bring in on the table, not really on on, on the certificates. Ayan yung masasabi ko dun sa mga 
uh, lalo na dun sa mga universities where I I done my speakership with uh, career growth and also web development. Uh, ang lagi kong sinasabi sa kanila, uh, it's very important to hone their skills kasi most of the clients, um, hindi sila after the cert- dun sa mga certificates or training. Uh, they will ask you directly on on how you can do their uh, required uh, skills or yung mga mismong yung mga mismong languages na kailangan ma- nilang uh, para dun sa company nila. All right, so data analysts it's almost like it's almost like the business analyst, pero this one is uh, they work on um, on many organizations identifying and helping to solve problems. They are more. Uh, more, much of them are graduates of IT and uh, data analysts. Uh, pero halos parehas din naman. Eh. They, usually may mga nakita kong job posts na data analyst and business analyst parehas lang. Data scientist, uh, advanced programming skills. I saw uh, sa EDX yung you can take uh, advanced programming skills uh, doon sa University of British Columbia. Meron silang software engineering doon. And then New York University offers the same. Uh, it's about 20,000 pesos to 60,000. Yeah. Database administrator to. Marami tayo nito sa Clark. May mga company sa Clark na uh, meron nito. Uh, I used to work sa Red Letter Marketing. It's under Dynamic Quest business solutions sa loob ng Clark. It's in front of uh, ito. it's in front of Sutherland. Uh, I used to work there. May mga database administrators kami dito. Usually mga hires namin galing pa sa mga province. Uh, sila yung nagmamanage ng, ng database. And uh, I'm not really sure if uh, may mga uh, tag dito, may mga local companies tayo na, I mean yung malaki talaga, yung malakihan like uh, uh, mga IT companies sa US na, na, na merong database administrators. Pero not, not really sure. Uh, hardware engineers, yan. Uh, eto, IT consultant. Uh, to kasing a hardware engineer is usually uh, kasama na si, magkakasama na sila no sa mga computer, ano, technicians eh. Uh, pag uh, marami dito, marami dito sa Pampanga. Uh, I think in terms of money, no, yung mga technicians natin, they earn less. Yung mga technicians dito sa mga shops, dito sa local, they earn less. I'm not sure if if they're gonna go out of the country sa Australia or sabihin natin, kahit sabihin natin uh, Middle East, I'm not sure if they're earning really uh, yung naka, mas mataas sa, sa web developers. Pero yeah, IT consultant, eto, uh, ang mga IT consultants, marami nito sa Upwork and uh, uh, that's freelancer.com. Okay. Uh, ang IT consultant usually uh, nakalagay doon is uh, IT managers yan. Pero you're doing uh, you're doing consultancy. Um, usually, ang mga concerns ng mga ng mga clients is all about project management, how to handle people, how they can manage their servers. Yan yung mga IT consultants. Uh, the maximum pay is uh, 16 to 20 dollars the less yung pinaka mababa is like 10 dollars or 11 dollars an hour yeah so you can earn as much as like uh uh sabi natin 70,000 to 100,000 by just uh you know by by being an IT consultant through online uh malaki na yun Kung part-time siguro as an IT consultant, uh, ang pinakamababa mo na, sabihin natin, 40,000. Ayan. IT manager, ayan, usually ito yan, magkasama yung IT manager, IT consultant, pero sa IT manager, they need someone who's really familiar with project management tools. Uh, karamihan ng mga project management tools natin na, uh, na modern, we have Trello, Asana, Monday.com, ClickUp, para ka lang nag-organize ng notes doon eh. No? Pero it really depends. May mga clients kami na they are not really, hindi sila yung uh, sobrang higpet in terms of the kind of project management that you do. Kung, kung agile methodology ba yan, kung, uh, kung ano man, kung waterfall, hindi sila ganun ka particular. 90% of our clients, they do not even know. No? Uh, at ang mga clients na to, they are uh, you know, high-paying clients na they do not 
hindi sa hindi nila alam. They just do not care. They want output. Ayun yung karamihan sa mga napapansin ko sa mga uh, clients namin na even IT sila or mga matatagal na sila sa uh, computer science field. Sometimes, uh, hindi na sila nagwo-worry kung ano ba yung methodology na gagawin mo sa project management. As long as you have the list of all the tasks and it's being completed, lalo na sa remote work, yung sa amin, uh, that's fine. Uh, tawag dito, you do not need to know everything about the the project management uh, theories. No? Uh, ayan. Multimedia developer yung, yung next. Ang multimedia developer, marami dito eh. Uh, uh, entertainment, presentations, uh, graphics and design, yan. videos, uh, kung, IT, kung sa IT field, talagang kahit na video creation sa YouTube, you can, uh, you can do it. Sa, you do not need to have a software. Kung titingnan mo, hindi... Uh, hindi mo kailangan matuto ng Adobe Premiere to set up your own video sa YouTube kasi video uh, yung mga video sa YouTube it has its own uh, software to manage yung videos to edit your videos there uh, napapansin namin dun sa mga nag edit ng videos diretso sa sa YouTube or even yung sa uh, sa TikTok yung mga nag edit pag diretso kang nag edit ng video sa TikTok or sa sa YouTube mas malaki yung ano nila mas malaki yung chances mo na ma, ma view ng mga tao just because you use their platform so dun sa mga uh, sa inyo na gustong uh, magdeal dito sa multimedia developer well uh, ayun ma advice ko yun and then um mahirap sa amin sa career namin dito yung mga hinahar namin na graphics and design madalang talaga yung may mata sa design yung may eye for design na sinasabi nila alam nilang mag Photoshop, mag Illustrator, alam nila yon. Pero uh, mas maganda kung mahuhun natin, bata pa lang yung mga students, mahuhun natin sila on how to look at good designs. Uh, dito kasi, karamihan naman ng mga fresh grads na tinatanggap namin dito or even before yung mga, uh, mga employees namin sa ibang provinces, uh, Alam nila yung Photoshop, alam nila yung uh, media designs, alam nilang mag-edit ng videos, yan. Pero hindi nila alam kung papan, kung ano yung maganda sa hindi, no? Uh, siguro yun yung matagal-tagal na matrain sa isang tao yung eye for design, yung taste mo sa design, yan. So, uh, kasama dito yung kaninang samples na I mentioned, which is yung 3D and 4D. May, meron pa rin mga kumikita ng 2D. Uh, development or to the animation sa Fiverr. Ayan. Uh, Malaki-laki din doon. Uh, ang 2D or 3D uh, animator can can get as much as $18 an hour and uh, almost eight, 40 hours. Imagine mo na lang kung $18 per hour ka, 40 hours. You're like working sa US kasi ang basic, ang basic ng US I think is $12. No? Ang pinaka yung uh, minimum salary nila per hour. That's 12. Uh, network administrator, yan yung kanina sinabi ko, network engineer. Meron to. Uh, maraming hiring nito sa uh, Australia. Actually, yung mga clients namin, minsan magtatanong sa amin kung meron akong kakilalang network administrator or network engineer na pwedeng pumunta doon. Kasi usually, ano to, office-based to eh. Uh, yan. Programmer. Ito, medyo, oh, malawak ang pagiging programmer. Maraming languages, para kang doktor dito. Hindi ibig sabihin na programmer yung isang tao eh. Alam na niya kung paano mag-wordpress. That's, that's, that's our struggle eh. Kasi initially, uh, may, mga, uh, may mga employees kami na alam nila yung HTML, CSS, JavaScript. They know it. Pero nakihirapan silang gumamit ng CMS or yung uh, uh, WordPress. Nahihirapan sila kung paano sila mag-shift sa Shopify. Yan, kung paano mag-liquid JavaScript. So, ang pinaka-importante dito sa company namin, yung tinatanggap namin, is yung alam yung foundations, yung CSS, uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Pero kung basic lang, tapos nahihirapan pa sila dun sa mismong foundations, I think doon kami nagkakaroon ng malaking problema. Sometimes kasi magaling sila sa training kasi ayun yung foundations eh. Pero pag nakita nila yung WordPress, nalilito na sila. No? 
Uh, and marami pang iba, not just WordPress or Shopify. We have Kajabi, we have ClickFunnels, we have Kartra. Those tools na ginagamit usually ng mga negosyante na mga clients namin. And these are very in, ha? Hindi sila yung basta tools na uh, baka iilan lang na negosyante yung gumagamit. No, a lot. The, kaya nga kapag naghanap kayo, for example, no, sa uh, sabihin natin sa Upwork, no, you look at the jobs there, pwede kayo mag-search ng jobs, ilagay nyo Shopify developer, no, marami, marami kayong makita and some are willing to pay even $25 an hour or $35 an hour just for you to fix their Shopify website, no, madami Maraming pero, maraming opportunities. No? Software developer, we tried this, uh, tung software development. Uh, kaso lang, uh, malawak din kasi itong pagiging software developer. Usual, meron kaming na-encounter na school dito sa San Fernando. I forgot the name. Uh, yung mga graduates nila, uh, na, uh, graduates nila ng, ng computer science, nakakoncentrate sa software development. Now we're in... Uh, magagaling sila sa Python. Yun talaga daw yung hinuhon sa kanila, yung Python development. So usually, dito sila. Pero may mga softwares naman kasi na apps for websites. So nagdi-deal pa rin kami dun. So it, it, it doesn't mean na software engineers sila or IT engineers sila that they cannot go with software development. Uh, iba pa rin. Ibang field pa rin to. Pero sometimes, dahil sa ident mismong uh, identification ng technology ni client, uh, halos, pa rin. So, systems administrator kanina na, na nasabi na, systems engineer. Uh, tech support, eto, may mga BPOs tayo dito sa Clark na nagte-tech support. Marami, even dito sa may office ng, uh, uh, sa may tagig, sa BGC, yung mga condominiums doon, ginagawa nilang offices. When we went to Cebu, I was with my three managers I think that was last year nung pumunta kami ng Cebu. Ang daming condominiums doon wherein ginagawa nilang offices ng mga foreigners. Ha? Uh, yung mga foreigners, pupunta sila sa Cebu, sa Metro Cebu, uh, uupa sila ng condominium doon, gagawin nilang offices, almost siguro mga sampung tao per condominium. Ganyan ang ginagawa nila. Tapos ang trabaho nila, tech support. Yan. Um, usually, uh, sasagot ng phone, uh, uh, Aayusin nila yung computer or yung internet connection kung hindi man yung mismong website. Real time. Ayan. Meron tayong mga ganyan. Mga managed services. Web developer yun. Kanina yung programming na dinidiscuss na, na ko kanina. Web development depende. Sa lawak niyan, meron tayong ang tinatawag na click funnels. No? Yung mga gumagawa ng one page. Na magagandang one page. Or minsan one page you can earn as much as... Uh, sabi natin 80,000 pesos or 60,000 pesos by just creating one page. Yung one page kasi na yun, minsan ang mga client na makikilala mo, mga talaga mayayaman sa, sa US, may meron silang, they can pay, no? Uh, sa one page, uh, gamit ang click funnels And minsan, magbibigay ka ng offer doon na uh, aside doon sa one page na yun, ano ba pwede mong gawin? Can you set up yung drip marketing nila? If the client would ask you, uh, alam mo ba yung drip marketing? Ano yung, ano yung uh, email blast tool na gagamitin mo? Are, you, are we gonna use active campaign or MailChimp? Yung mga tools na yun. Uh, mukha siyang technical, mukha siyang madami, pero pag inaral mo siya, uh, I think magiging madali. Uh, wala naman sigurong bagay na nalaman mo lang basta-basta na kailangan mong aralin. Pero they're not really that complicated. Uh, click funnels is drag and drop. Uh, ginawa yun para sa mga negosyante na uh, tawag dito, hindi marunong mag-codes. Okay? So, pero yung mga ibang negosyante, gusto pa rin talaga nila, yung mga foreigners, gusto pa rin talaga nila yung nagpapagawa sa iba kaysa sila, kahit na drag and drop na lang, gusto pa rin nila yung pinapagawa sa iba. Uh, just because siguro wala silang time. Uh, existing careers which are related to IT. Sabi na, aha. I think, uh, eto, um, ayan, et, this, this one is very uh, important, no? Uh, during pandemic and new normal, nung, uh, 
nung first month ng pandemic, all I thought, as a business owner, no, um, nasaktan ako. I, I was really depressed kasi a lot of our employees went out, ayaw nilang, they, 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 wanna, uh, they don't wanna come back sa office. Uh, nung last year, mahirap as a business owner, yung nag-worry ka, ay, parang uh, magkukontinue pa ba? Uh, karamihan ng mga clients, nagsipag-give up sila, no? Uh, tapos we have like uh, marami kaming employees before we have like uh, 40 45 employees including may mga naka home base kasi kami na employees and even home base employees hindi na sila nakapag ano nahirapan na rin sila mag cope no uh, pero dito after nung siguro mga one month lang we realized na we realized and uh, we talked about it together with uh, with my managers, my team leads. Uh, napapansin namin tumataas, mas dumadami yung clients ng IT, in the IT field nung nagkaroon ng pandemic. So, uh, ngayon meron nga kaming client eh, na meron kaming client na nagpapagawa siya ng cryptocurrency designs lang. Yung mga developers niya nasa US, uh, just because they've been in, in the cryptocurrency a field for for many years. Ang gusto lang nila yung designs na ginagawa dito sa IT tech. Uh, and yun, uh, yun yung isa sa mga opportunity na uh, um, na, mar na marami ngayon. No? Uh, so COVID nineteen crisis has accelerated the digitization of customer uh, interactions by several years. And uh, eto yung eto yung latest na yung two thousand nineteen to twenty twenty. Pero <clears throat> ngayong, uh, I think, of August, almost half, mag magpapas ko na. Pero most probably, mas maana to, mas mataas to uh, sa ngayon. Kasi uh, hindi, lang, hindi lang yung uh, digital marketing yung naapektuhan eh. No? When we talk about digital marketing, marami. We have the SEO, link building, we have a branding, yun. Uh, hindi lang siya, sa Asia Pacific, uh, adoption acceleration in four years, it went up to 53. Doble, even, pero kung titignan nyo, halos doble naman uh, in all stages, global, Asia Pacific, Europe, and North America. So there's no, uh, parang, uh, I don't think that this is gonna be down in the next uh, three or five years even. Um, especially na, Marami pa rin talaga yung mga nag-online nag, uh, nag selling, no? And we do not know what kind of te technology would they invent after Facebook. And uh, what I know, I had a seminar sa, it's, it's not a seminar, it's a parang live webinar sa Hong Kong uh, last week. I, I, I only attended uh, an hour. Pero they know that they are creating a better Facebook. It's not just, uh, ano eh, uh, hindi lang magbabago daw siya no uh, ang 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 recent nila is uh, parang maw, hindi mawawala si Facebook pero babaguhin nila kasi it, it will have its own bank meron na siyang transfer ngayon eh. it, 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 meron na siyang money transfer si Facebook eh pero it will have its own bank kasi sabi nila digital bank ayan online learning uh, sa online learning natin, uh, of course, uh, meron kami dito ginawan for Google uh, Google School. Meron kami ginawan na local company dito, which is yung PRI. Uh, we did their, uh, parang yung mismong uh, Google School nila, Google Learning nila. We did that for them. Uh, and then, gumagawa rin kami ng mga courses dito. Under IT Tech, we have different companies under it pa. We have Barry and Chan. We have online Philippines. With Barry and Chan, we have uh, digital marketing courses. We have personal courses for uh, those who are freelancing. Meron kami mga courses we created and co-authored uh, na meron silang mga tao dito uh, pang, pang web development and IT-related uh, trainings. Ayan. Uh, I think uh, with the online learning, uh, this is... Uh, this is outdated. Sabi nga dito, overall market for online education projected to reach 350 billion by 2025. With uh, an example of, uh, I think, I'm not sure if, if, if 
familiar kayo sa EDX, this one gets a lot. It's it's top of parang atong website na to. It's top of uh, all learning platform. If you see, you can take your um, if you look at this, tung tung uh, nakapresent sa akin ngayon. I'm not sure if you can see. Can you see the screen? Yung EDX ano? Uh, I think I need to present the whole ano. I think I need to present the entire uh, screen. Ayan. Yes, sir. All right. So this one. So with EDX, you can take your match, uh, your micro bachelor's program and micro master's program. Na um, most of these courses are are online. Actually, hindi most eh. all of these uh, courses are online, and they are. They have stamped ng New York University, uh, RISE. Uh, we have uh, this one is for micro bachelors, the micro masters program, um, and they can partner with schools. You just need to speak with uh, with the organizers. Doon, uh, dito we have ito, MIT, we have Hong Kong Polytechnic uh, University. Uh, yan. So, ito yung mga courses. Uh, I think. Sa, sa mga online learning, especially kami, may mga clients kami, marami rin kaming clients talaga na uh, nagpapagawa ng online uh, courses sa amin. And we also market it. We used, to we used to market courses. Meron nga kami client. He was the co-producer of Star Wars and Jumanji. It was, uh, I forgot his name, uh, David Burke. Yeah, he, he co-produced Star Wars and Jumanji client namin sila. Ang, ang online courses niya is really to teach children hanggang uh, yung mga business courses ng different languages. If, for example, uh, gusto mong mag-aral ng Spanish business ano language, uh, meron siyang mga courses doon. May mga video siya and it's fun learning kasi ang ganda na may mga video siya. Yan, and he is selling it for a very cheap price. Really, per course, it's like 600 pesos or 700 pesos. And it's worth it. Uh, ayan. Next po is we have e-commerce. Ayan, nasabi na natin kanina. May mga clients tayo na nag-e-commerce. Merong mga nagda-dropshipping. Kukunin nila yung products sa Alibaba or hindi man. I-market lang nila yung mga products from Alibaba. I-market nila dito sa Philippines. Papagawa ng e-commerce website din yun, papadala na dito. Uh, hindi lang mga simple products. Sometimes, ang mga products na yun is yung mga malalaking machines. Sometimes, mga vitamins, mga ano, nanggagaling sa ibang bansa. Right now, sa e-commerce, marami ko napapansin. Sa Philippine uh, industry, mas marami yung mga nasa beauty products na industry. No? Uh, Kesa dun sa mga kitchen, yung mga ganyan, ang pinakamataas is yung beauty products. Uh, sa ibang bansa, uh, mahilig kasi sila sa mga e-commerce ng books, eh, ng e-books, eh, on how they can help businesses to rise up again through their courses or, or small courses. Uh, communication, uh, marami. Kanina nasabi ko na rin to, uh, na, mas sobrang na-improve ang ating communication uh, with the new technologies nowadays, uh, kaya ngayon gamit kaya natin Google Meet, we can, we, we we even have Zoom. We have a lot of means to connect together and learn together, no? Uh, yeah, collaboration tools. Ayun, kanina nagbigay na ako ng example like Slack, uh, Workplace, and uh, uh, meron din tayong mga yung kanina Fiber, WeChat, yeah. So even the normal text in 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 iOS, no? Meron tayong, ano, meron tayo, we can send videos there, we can send uh, uh, emojis, yan. Yeah. And uh, yun lang po, I think that's the the, the end of the presentation, uh, Ma'am Rulayda. Okay, sir. So, thank you so much po. So, uh, it is a uh, very mind in engaging talk from you. So, I am pretty sure that there are questions or insight that they would like to raise. So I am now formally opening the meeting of mind session, but since we only have limited time, uh, some questions may be directly asked to our speaker through his email address, which will be flashed in a little while. Okay. Actually, uh, I received uh, three questions here, sir. Sure, Paul. 
Yes, sir. How can we send OGT in your company? Hello po, yeah. Ma'am Zema. Uh, we, we also have pala, ano, no? We also have attendees from TSU. Hello po, mga taga TSU. I, I have like four employees from TSU and they're really great. Um, and then from MCC, of course. Yeah. Um, so yung question is, OJT, you can send it to, to Jerry. Yung mga OJTs po namin ngayon, uh, tawag dito, yung mga OJTs po namin ngayon, uh, ginawa namin pwede silang home-based. Before po, matagal kami nag-usap ng management na gusto namin talaga hands-on kasi uh, although may mga online courses kami, mismong kami, we still believe dun sa hands-on training. Uh, ng lalo na yung HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and the WordPress, gusto talaga namin hands-on. Pero we decided, sige, uh, dahil meron tayong variant na naman na hindi natatapos na variants ng COVID, uh, Okay, we'll do home days. Uh, tawag dito, usually ang mga training namin hindi lang kasi video. Gusto namin yung mga speakers na, ay yung mga, um, tawag dito, yung mga employees namin yung natuturo talaga. Yung talaga actual. Uh, ayaw kasi namin na, ayaw kasi namin na basta na natapos lang ng OJT sa amin. And uh, siguro na alam ni Sir George yan, uh, may mga OJTs kami na tinanggap dito last year and in terms of attendance, we're also very strict. Uh, uh, ayun na, yun po. <laughs> kay Jerry po, kay Sir Jerry, yung aking uh, operations manager, or dun sa mga secretary, sa secretary po namin, kay Ira or kay Lea. Uh, we'll, we'll leave po yung uh, email address. Okay, another question, sir. Uh, we are also interested for internship or partnership with IP Tech, according to Sir Alex Salentino from TSU po. Up from TSU. Sure po sir, um, maganda, po ang, maganda po ang background ng TSU sa amin. We have really great developers from, from TSU. Uh, I think two, two of our employees are cum laude from TSU. Uh, sir, pwede daw po bang magmawa with your company about OJT from Dr. Raquel Adriana po. from Bulsu? Okay. Yes po, sir. Uh, Ma'am Raquel, meron na po kayong uh, MOA sa amin. We, we have opened it I think, uh, with Sir Mads, uh, Sir Madalipay. Uh, meron kaming MOA with uh, Bulso na rin po. Ayun. So, for more questions po, and ito po yung email address ng IP Tech. Uh, with Sir Jerry Cantillero at itech.operations at gmail.com or operations at iptech.com. Doon sa... Uh, uh, yes, sir. Sige po. Ay, ito po. May tanong po kay Ma'am Evelyn. Uh, ito po. Yes po, Ma'am Evelyn. Uh, yung uh, OJT po namin is uh, home-based online. Yun nga po yung sinasabi ko kanina. Uh, matagal po namin pinag-decidean kasi uh, ayaw talaga namin ng home base lang. Gusto namin yung hands-on uh, na, na training kasi gusto namin nakikita namin kung paano sila nag-code or nag-program. Pero yeah, we, we are now accepting home base po. Pwede na po. Okay, no more questions. Okay po, um, let's start with the awarding of certificate. Um, may I ask the steam speaker to please stay online for a while as we award the certificate of appreciation. Yes, sir, Fernan. Okay, so let me read the text. Uh, the Philippine Society of Information Technology Educators in cooperation with the IP Tech, IT, and Digital Solutions Co Corporation, uh, a certificate of appreciation is presented to Mr. Martin Enriquez for sharing his valuable time and expertise as resource speaker during the webinar titled Career and Business Growth in the World of IT, Health, online via Google Meet platform given the 16th day of August 2021. Central Luzon, Philippines. Signed, George M. Granados, President besides Central Luzon. Thank you so much, Sir Mark Enriquez. But of course, 
doon po, okay. So, para makareceive po tayo ng certificate, this po, uh, fill up yung ating evaluation. Nakapost na po yung evaluation link po natin dito sa chat box. So, thank you so much again, Sir Mark Enriquez. Yeah, but salamat. meron pa po tayong raffle. May natitira pa po raffle. Last okay. two. Two winners po. Well, last two. Okay, okay po. po. Start na po natin. Yes po. So, nakikita na po yung screen. Um, wala pa mong admin. Wait lang po. Okay po. Okay po. Okay, ito na po. Okay. Kikita na po, ma'am. The... Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma okay, so we'll, we'll start na po for the fourth winner. Our chica, of course, it is from IT Tech Incorporated. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, IP Tech. So, uh, and Mr. Sir Noel Salak Jr. And Noel. Are you here? Kailala po ang name na to. Oh. Oh. Sir Noel, andyan ka ba yun? Okay. So, winner ka, Sir Noel. Pa-com Pa-comment na lang, sir. Pa-comment na lang, sir. Sorry, you want Gcash. Gcash account Thank number. Thank you po, next. For the Thank you so much. Next. Last winner. Ito na yung mag-wato off after ito dito. Andiyan po si Ma'am Paulita Salamo. Ma'am Paulita. Pa-comment lang po. Ma'am Paulita Salamo, andiyan po ba kayo? Hello po. Ah. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 1. 1. So, another so box. Nice. Ano rin po tayo, po? Kung muna nga Sir John Erwin okay, John Erwin Batak. Hello sir, John Erwin. Sir John Erwin, andiyan po ba kayo? 10, 10 Okay, so another okay. so, uh, uh, po si Ma'am Mary Rose Colombres. Mary Rose, Mary Rose are you there? Uh, Mary Rose Columbus, ayun. Ah, okay Present po. Siya. Comment na lang po yung so, details. Uh, thank you po. Thank you okay, po. Okay, ma'am. So, thank you so much. So, meron po tayong po. Oh. Yes, sir, for them. So, open mo muna ng camera. Open daw po na kami, Ra. Okay na po. 
Thank you po. Okay, thank you so much. So, by Wednesday, yung po, ano, another topic natin. Okay, so mental stress in the world of freelancing. So, yun po yung topic. So, sana po ka-attended kayo. And that ends our session for the day. God bless you and thank you all. Thank you so much for... Thank you, sir. Sir, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you all. So much. Salamat po sa lahat. Yes. Salamat po. Bye po. Thank you po. Bye po. Thank you po. Ingat po yung lahat. Thank you po. Sir Mark, thank you so much. See you on Wednesday. Salamat, sir George. Salamat po. Bye.